I would like to join my colleagues here in welcoming our new students to the Doctor of Communication program and in saying hello to our continuing students who are here with us in this hall and those who are joining us through web stream. Hello, okay. <laughs> I would like then to say, you know, uh, that the affordances of modern ICTs have enabled us to be together and be part of this important activity, which will signal the start of a new endeavor for our new students, of uh, zero new stu students. <laughs> okay, all right, continuing. Yes, graduating. Huh. Ayun, 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 okay. And, uh, well, for, for our continuing students, it may be the start of another school year, nothing special, di ba? Parang, okay lang, no. But uh, <laughs> what makes this year different from the past years and from the years yet to come, why we consider it special, for one, this year, we are witnessing the graduation of the first batch of graduates from the Doctor of Communication program. Two candidates from this program will march this Saturday. Nandito ang isa. Ray, can you stand up, please? All right. So, uh, welcome, Ray. Malapit ng Doc Ray. Oh. And, uh, of course, having the first batch of graduates also signals <coughs> the completion of a cycle for us. Here at the university, administering the program, we can already propose some uh, curricular changes if needed. And, um, and so it's necessary that we really look closely and uh, do some review of the program. And uh, of course, uh, since it is a good program, most probably, I don't know, maybe just some uh, tweaking here and there, uh, having its first batch is certainly a milestone to celebrate. Next reason. This year is important because it will be the first year of the full implementation of Republic Act 10650, RA 10650, or the Open Distance Learning Act. In this act, your university, our university, has been specifically mentioned to provide assistance for both CHED and TESDA, so we are named UP Open University in that long habang section natin, for the implementation of this law. This is a concrete and institutionalized recognition of the expertise of your university, UP Open University, as the expert and the leader in distance education and open learning. Being part of this university and being students of its doctoral program, you share the limelight of this recognition because uh, it certainly is a uh, laurel on your cap. The responsibility, though, of being in the limelight of this recognition as well comes the responsibility of being the ambassadors of quality in this mode of teaching and learning. From my perspective, I consider 2015 as UPOU's sunshine year. With other HEIs, higher education institutions, and test institutions looking upon us for guidance and leadership. In your own respective institutions, if you are coming from an academic institution, you will be considered as an immediate asset. And access 
to distance e-learning expertise. Nagiging bida kayo doon sa inyong institution. So RA 10650, therefore, implies that we have to really work with SOAPs, with, with all the other higher education institutions and media to bring higher education to another level, to a technology-enhanced teaching and learning experience for all our students in the country. So, RA 10650 therefore implies that we, the UPOU community, should always be the epitome of excellence and scholarship to serve as standards, a standard for others to emulate. This year may prove to be different from the previous years or for the other years to come because uh, it means additional members of our community of distance e-learning scholars who will enrich learner-learner interaction and learner-community of practice interaction. This implies further strengthening of UPOU's position as a research university for you to be actively co-creators of academic texts with additional doctoral students who will engage in knowledge building and theorizing through your respective dissertations. Our two DCOM graduates have set the standards, but I'm sure they will be able to get there, and very soon, yung ating continuing education, how many more courses are you take? Oh, second year, so konti na lang yon. Then you start your dissertation, di ba? Good, I'm excited for you. You know, uh, hopefully, we get better. But I'm sure what we have now, oh, di ba, Ray? Ang ganda ng iyong dissertation. You're so proud of that, right? Advisor natin si Ma'am Jean. <laughs> All right. The other thing that remains constant is the challenge. And the reminder that I give, you know, to each batch of incoming DCOM students that we have a responsibility to our discipline. Communication, this discipline, this is our discipline, and also a responsibility to distance e-learning as an emerging field of study. I mentioned earlier that I consider 2015 as a sunshine year of UPOU, the third challenge and responsibility is for all of us to keep that sun shining. Thank you very much. Salamat